I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have another new and interesting things video. I have a bunch of random stuff here. Some of it was sent to me for review. A lot of it actually this month I ended up buying myself. So if I have any sort of discount codes, referral links, anything like that, I will leave that in the description box. I will try to link to everything just in case you are interested in uh, checking it out for yourself. Okay, so let's get into it. First thing I have is this digital drum set, <laughs> which I don't know, I thought it would be kind of fun. The company did send this to me, but you can get it on Amazon. It is, I think it's like $60, 50 something maybe. Anyway, it is this little drum set. I honestly thought that it was going to be a bit bigger, but it's, you know, as you can see, it's fairly small. So I would say that this is definitely more like kid size, not grown up drum size. It's, um, it's pretty, like, you can kind of roll it up and it's fairly compact, which is nice, you know, I mean, as opposed to, like, a giant drum kit, right? It does come with some drum sticks and you can put in, you can plug in headphones to it because when you turn it on, it can be very loud. It does charge here. Let me turn it on. And you've got the demo thing, you know. And then you can change the types of sounds that it makes. Let's see. <laughs> it's wigging out because I'm holding it up instead of laying it flat. Anyway, let me turn this off. And then on the back, so you've got a slidey off and on button and then an MP3 phones, which is really nice because it is quite loud, or at least it can be. And it has pedals that you can plug into it as well, two pedals, and then a USB thing right here that you use for charging it or uh, just plugging it in if you need to. But I love that it doesn't have to be plugged in, you can just charge it. And it has the pedals, which you don't have to use, but you can if you want to. It is best like sitting at a table. Now the problem with that is then you're still banging on the table, so you hear the you know, so even with the headphones, it's still quite a bit noisy. You can try putting it on a surface that isn't as loud, but you know, it's just one of those things. Mostly it's a loud drum set. I mean, what do you want? <laughs> but it's kind of fun. My kids absolutely love it. I had a fun time playing with it. I feel like the actual drum things aren't as sensitive as I wanted them to be because I would hit them and sometimes it would make the noise and sometimes it wouldn't. And I don't know if it was just the way I was hitting them. I'm not, you know, exactly a professional drummer or anything. But anyway, you know, it's still pretty fun and it's one of those things that would make a great gift, especially for small kids. Okay, so again, I will leave information and links in the description box for this kind of stuff. Okay, another thing sent to me, not the, the actual pillow, but this duvet set from Late Mornings. I love this set so much. It's just, you know, two pillow covers and then a cover for a duvet or like comfort or whatever. And I picked out this purple color, which I thought my husband was going to be a little irritated with me. He actually loves it. And the cats loved it. And it's just such a fun color that's not like overly girly. It's actually quite nice in our room. And I think it's really pretty. I love the material. It's just a nice, soft, we have a linen set as well, which is what I used to have on my bed. And I don't know, I just really love this set. I think the pillow covers are really nice. You know, they have the little extra thing for fanciness. They fold in like this, which is nice. And the duvet, the duvet cover is nice and big. It's actually, we got it for a queen size and it's bigger than the actual comforter that we have, which I like because then you can, you know, not all comforters are the same size, even though they're technically queen. So it's a bit roomy that way. And it's just really, really lovely and adds some brightness and it's just, I don't know, it makes my room look a little more grown up, you know what I mean? Even though it's purple. <laughs> so, and they do have a blue and a white and I don't know, a couple other colors. They have all sorts of fun things on their site. So I would definitely check it out. I am super happy with my set. Okay, this is an Instagram by, Instagram ads get me every time. I've said that a million times, I'll probably say it a million more. I bought this because of Instagram. So this is a company called Billy and it's a razor, a razor. And I the the ads for these <laughs> are like comical because it's like you know I mean it's people shaving and it's like that's some hairy pits that's that's quite a bikini line you have there oh look at your hairy toes 
But let's face it, you know, these are all places that we shave, right? You know, because we all like to be hairless. I don't know why. I tried growing out my hair and I hated it, so I'm, I'm on the bandwagon for hairlessness. So anyway, the ad is sort of ridiculous, but hey, I bought their razor. So the razor is fairly inexpensive. I can't remember how much it was. It was like $8 or $12 for the starter pack or something like that, which isn't bad because razors are freaking expensive. So anyway, it looks like this. You know, just a cute little razor. It actually comes with a magnetic holder, which I freaking love. It is stuck in my shower right now because it was one of those like sticky backs. It's not a suction cup thing. My last one was a suction cup and you would put the razor in and the razor constantly fell off. With the magnetic, it doesn't fall off, which is so nice. I love that little thing. And it's just like a little orange triangle that you know you suction up to wherever you're gonna keep your razor and it's really nice. So when you first get it, it comes with two razor heads and then you get like a monthly subscription where they just deliver a four pack of the heads and you can change your delivery options to be once a month or once every two months or whatever. So you see, it's just a nice kind of basic razor head, but it has this nice soapy thing around it that has charcoal in it or something. And that's supposed to help, you know, just give you a smoother, nicer, moisturized type of a shave. It also has these little rubber bits that help pull the hair back as you're shaving. I definitely get a very close shave with this. However, I also get razor burn half the time. Not all the time, but half the time. I don't know why. I've been using it for a month. I got my refill of razor blades. I like it. I'm still, I don't know, I'm still kind of on the fence about it. Even though I've been using it for a month, I feel like it does work well. I think I'm just waiting for my skin to be like, oh, here's your new razor. Get used to it and stop getting razor burn. That's what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting for my skin to catch up. <laughs> anyway, they also have other products. I got the shave cream and normally I use an oil to shave, like sometimes just grapeseed oil or you know, if you can find like a nice shaving oil, that's just usually what I use. But I love their shaving cream. It has a weird consistency. It's almost like a sticky kind of creaminess and you know, you just, you don't need that much and it coats you. And with this particular razor, I feel like this works better than anything else I've tried. Regular shaving cream, my oil, this definitely works the best. So I definitely would recommend getting this if you are going to try this. And this I think is $8 and then I think like a four pack of razors is $8. So, you know, it's fairly inexpensive. It's convenient because they just deliver it to your door. Also, it reminds me that I need to change my razor heads. Um, so far, I've actually been really liking it other than the mild razor burn. So let me know if any of you guys have tried it out. I am curious to know other people's opinions on the Billy situation. Have you seen their ads? Anyway, okay, moving on. I have some lip products from Jaden Madison. Jaden Madison uh, has lanolin products. Lanolin is derived from sheep's wool, so it's not vegan. However, they are cruelty free and they don't have to hurt the animal to get the lanolin from them. And I did a lot of research into this actually as far as using like sheep's wool for things like you know, dryer balls, which I use, and lanolin, which is also used for like nipple cream. When you're nursing, you get really sore nipples. They get super chapped and lanolin is the best thing for them. It's also really great for your lips. I did a review on Dr. Lips lanolin stuff a million years ago. And it's the kind of thing that, you know, I mean, you can use it on your nipples, you can use it on your lips, you can use it on your elbows, anything that's really dry and chapped. And then Jaden Madison came out with these lanolin based lip glosses, which are really, really pretty. I have two shades right here. One of them is like a bright pink and one of them I actually wore in a Bolzano video. I'm not super crazy about colored lip glosses on me. I just, I don't know, for some reason I don't like the way it looks. I like nude lip glosses, but the colored ones, like I probably won't get a lot of use out of these. I'll pass these on, but they feel so nice on your lips. And especially this time of year, at least in California, it is so dry. I mean, it's fire season. Ca poor California is on fire. It's still 85 degrees outside. It's windy and awful. So the bright pink one right here is Intentions. And then this one called Scandalous. And I just, aren't they lovely? So the one that I love using is this little tub of just the regular clear lanolin. And like I said, you can put it anywhere you need it. I put it around my nose. Like if I've been blowing my nose a lot, I'll get really dry around here. This will take care of it right away. And I love it on my lips. 
It's wonderful. Some more skincare things for you. I have a couple things from Derma E. Derma E is one of those companies that I'm on their PR list, so they send me stuff sometimes, but I also just buy their products because I really like them. Um, this one is the Vitamin C Renewing Moisturizer, and this one is the Overnight Peel. I'm a huge fan of this line, of their brightening line, and they have one that's like an SPF 15 in a tub that I used up last winter. But I really love this. I put this on this morning. It's just kind of a lightweight moisturizer, but it has that vitamin C, which is supposed to be really good for sun damaged skin, which is totally what I have. So I really like like using these products and they're all cruelty free. I love them. Um, and then this one, the Overnight Peel, and this has AHAs in it, so it's that acid kind of a thing, and I would use it like once a week. I just gave my sister one of these. She was like, don't you want this? Because I was saying how great it was, and I was like, I have another one. <laughs> because I'm telling you, I buy their stuff and they send it to me, and then so I gave one of these to my sister. But I warned her, you know, it will kind of sting and tingle sometimes, especially if your skin is dry, or you're not used to using products like that, just be aware if you have sensitive skin that it will kind of burn and tingle, so use it like once a week, maybe. Okay, this is from 100% Pure. This is Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream. This is one of their most popular products, I think. Isn't this packaging cute, by the way? It comes in a little tube. I love tube packaging like this. Anyway, I bought this, I bought this for myself, I don't know, four or five years ago, and I loved it. I thought it was great. But then I started using all of these other eye creams. I went back and forth. And recently, I just ran out of my Drunk Elephant eye creams, and I thought, you know what? I really want to try this one again to see if I still love it. I do. I still love it. This is one of the best ones that I've used for like puffiness around my eyes because of my allergies. I will often wake up with super puffy swollen eyes and I think it's the caffeine in this. It just helps depuff and it's also really creamy and it smells really delicious. <laughs> so anyway, I really like this. This brand in general is sort of hit and miss for me, but I love their eye cream. I have some period proof underwear from Lilova. So they're, you know, chonies that have some padding in them. It's basically like a built-in pad. Um, it's also good for like incontinence, you know? I mean, I know 90% of the moms I know, we pee a little bit when we sneeze or laugh too hard because we've had babies and, you know, things just don't work like they used to. So anyway, it's good for that kind of stuff. I am not actually a super huge fan of these. I feel like they work really well, but they also feel like a diaper and they kind of, sound like a diaper and the lace trim on the edge uh, irritates my bikini line. So I'm honestly just not that big a fan of these, but they could just be this style too. They have different styles. They have, I mean, these are ginormous. They look like a diaper. Hipster, these are the hipster ones. Uh, but they also have like bikini or even thong, which I think might, I might like better than these ones. They're cute, they just aren't that comfortable for me. These I bought because one of you lovely people told me about these. Who was it? I can't even remember now, I'm so sorry. I apologize, I will remember the second I stop filming. Anyway, these are ring adjusters. So I did, let's see, am I wearing it? No, I'm not wearing my mermaid one, but this, but I have it on this one. So I have a mermaid ring from Julia Jewelry that I love, but it's a little bit big on me. So I had put some tape on it, just like athletic tape around the bottom, and she told me about these ring adjusters, and basically they're just like, they look like little telephone wires, and there's two different sizes. There's like the mini size and then the bigger size, and they come in these things, and you wrap it around your ring, and then, you know, trim it, and the more you wrap around there, obviously, the tighter the ring is going to be. So, so you may only need one or two loops, or you might need four or five, depending on how big the ring is. But I love these because they're clear and you barely notice them. Look, I have it on, see the middle one? I have it on that one because this ring is a little bit too big on me. And I just, I, they're so convenient. And when you put them on, they just sort of roll with your finger so it doesn't like catch or be weird or anything. It's, I love these. I'm so happy. So thank you for telling me. I just bought them off of Amazon. They were like, I don't know, $6 or something for a pack of 12. Is that how many are in here? Yeah, six of the smaller ones and six of the bigger ones. And it has like a little polishing cloth. This is, this is genius and perfect. And I will absolutely use these anytime I have a ring that doesn't fit. Like this one I just found in like a box of old jewelry and stuff. And I was like, oh, I love this ring, but it was way too big on me. Not anymore. <laughs> 
Okay, so I know I talk about jujitsu all the time. I'm sorry, you guys. One of these days, I'm just gonna do like a full jujitsu video. Who would want to see that? Raise the hands. Okay, so I have all of these mouth guards because my entire family does jujitsu, and these are all from Shock Doctor. And it started, my husband got his first, and then I got mine, and then the kids needed them because they were gonna do a tournament and they wanted their own mouth guards. So anyway, my husband and I have the same ones. We all have, you know, just, well, Jensen wanted this like chrome gold one. <laughs> He's so extra. And then June wanted a pink one like me, and Colin has a green one. And then Colin and I both have this style of mouth guard, and we got the same style for the kids which is, you know, same thing, just smaller. So this is supposed to be like for 10 and under, and these are the adult ones, and it's honestly not that much smaller. And so it ended up being really uncomfortable for June, and then it was actually like poking her. So I contacted the company, and you guys, they have the best customer support ever. I'm not even kidding. If you need any sort of athletic things, I would check them out. And the Shock Doctor mouth guards are awesome. They have a bunch of different styles and their customer support is amazing. So I contacted them, I just sent them an email and I was like, hey, my daughter's, my daughter's mouth guard is like poking her and hurting her gums because the rubber bit had kind of worn off in the back and she'd only worn it once or twice. So they immediately were like, We'll replace it, let us know which style it was. So I you know, e emailed them and they're like, you know what, we're actually not even making that style anymore, so can you pick out a different one and we'll send you that instead? So I was like, I don't know which one to get her. So I just called them and I said, hey, you know, my daughter just does jujitsu, which mouth guard do you recommend? And they were like, oh, this one is the one that we recommend for any sort of jujitsu, martial arts sort of thing. And it's one of the smaller ones, so for her tiny little six-year-old mouth, it fits perfectly. So this is the Nano 3D or something like that. So you can see this one, the size is like obvious. This one is for a tiny little child. And in fact, I almost want to get this one in the adult size because it's just a slimmer shape and it has the same gel thing where you boil it and then you know run it under cold water for a second so you don't melt your mouth but then you put it in and it molds to your teeth making it incredibly comfortable and it's you know specific to your mouth they have like a ten thousand dollar dental warranty on all of the on all of their mouth guards i recommend going to shock doctor for any sort of mouth guards that you would need because their customer support is amazing and i actually really like their mouth guards and they have a bunch of different styles they even have flavor ones and the cases are really great too and they have the little you know carabiner clips so you can clip them to things all right this is from thug kitchen this is not a new book this came out years ago and somebody actually gave it to me a couple of years ago and I had never used it and I think they've actually come out with more books since then it is a foul-mouthed cookbook for vegans so all of the recipes are like you know I mean look at it it's Eat like you give a fuck, okay? Sift through the beans and pick out any that look all fucked up. Pour them into a big ass bowl with the water and let them soak overnight. Like, you know, that's the sort of instructions you have, which make it sort of fun and entertaining, but it's also really amazing. I've, I mean, you can see all the tags I've put in here and I've made a fair amount of things, like these flautas my family loved and the maple oat banana bread. I make muffins using this recipe. It's vegan, it's made with oat flour, they're really low sugar it's just a third cup of maple syrup that's all the sugar that goes in them and my kids love them June has a banana muffin for breakfast almost every morning and I love that they're healthy because I used to make her ones with like buttermilk and all sorts of sugar and then when I switched to making these she actually prefers this recipe and I was like yes so I love this book I've been making all sorts of fabulous things out of it it's just wonderful I love it. Okay, this is, I couldn't squeeze it back in the box. <laughs> okay, this is a TENS system. It's basically like a vibrating massage thing and you have all of these pads. It comes with several different sizes of these pads. These are the ones that I was using last. And they, you peel off, can you peel this off? And this part is uh, sticky. So you stick this to your skin, like for your back, your arms, your legs, whatever. And then you plug it in and it has this little Dumaflachi, which has all sorts of different things. So it's like, you know, high, medium, low, intense pulsing, slow pulsing, things like that. It has a little stylus to help you navigate the screen. And it's, I know that when I was going to the chiropractor all the time, they used to do this on my back because it's basically supposed to stimulate the muscles and then the muscles will release 
and it's the same basic kind of thing that like, you know, you can put on your abs to build up the muscles. I don't know that I would use it for that. I mean, I guess you could. That's what Colin keeps saying that I should do with it. But I think, but I think it's better for like, you know, when you have really sore muscles or like chronic tight muscle, that kind of a thing. So anyway, this is, and it's just a set that you can get off of Amazon and I thought it was pretty cool. I love that it has all the different sizes. It has, you know, lots of different settings and timers and all of that kind of stuff that you would need to do this. Um, do be careful with this sort of thing because you don't want to overdo it. And you know, there's all sorts of warnings in here about where to place it on your body and everything. So anyway, Kind of a cool little system to have handy. Okay, I feel like I've been talking about Ticino a lot, but I'm kind of obsessed right now, like I'm going through a phase. This is another company where I'm on their PR list, but I also just buy their products because I love them. So I bought this one. This is the sampler, the dandelion tea sampler. It comes with caramel nut, which is delicious, coconut, which I ended up buying full size of because it's just so yummers. It's very coconutty, but so good. Uh, dark roast, which just basically kind of tastes like coffee, but not really. So I'm not a fan of the dark roast. Mocha mint, which is delicious. Red chai, which isn't my favorite, but it's not bad either. The turmeric, which I bought another full size thing of. I love that one because turmeric is good for you for all sorts of reasons and it just tastes really good. It's a mild flavor, but it's kind of sweet. And at the end of the night, it helps curb my sweet tooth. Dandelion helps keep you regular and I think it's just supposed to be good for your body in general. So anyway, I enjoyed getting the sampler because I was like, oh, now I know which flavors I really love. They have so many different flavors and not all of them are dandelion based. They have the mocha mint in the dandelion, but I actually bought the, the full size of the chocolate mint, which is, I can't remember. It's, you know, they all have like the chicory root and I don't know. And they're all no caffeine. I think I said in my last video that they were decaf. It's more than that. It's no caffeine. Like there was never any caffeine in here to begin with. This is a random bag of, um, so a while ago I reviewed these potty packs. So we have these little kits and they come in like little prepackaged things like this, but I love them like for emergency purposes or just like if you know, if you're gonna go somewhere and you, you know, you just can throw this in your back pocket or in your bag. It's so compact and you don't have to bring an entire roll of toilet paper. This has a couple sheets for you kind of a thing. So, okay, the first aid kit has two bandages, two gauze pads, hand sanitizer, antiseptic wipe, triple antibiotic cream, and two aspirin pills. So it's got you covered on all sorts of aspects, you know, if you do get hurt. This is the kind of thing that like I throw in my kid's backpack just so that they always have it if they ever need a Band-Aid or, you know, whatever. It's nice to have this sort of a thing. And then the winter pack has Two paper tissues, two ibuprofen pills, cough drop, lip balm, skin lotion, hand sanitizer, hand wipe, and sunscreen. So, you know, take it with you if you're going backpacking or on a ski trip or, you know, just in the winter, you're gonna go somewhere, you're going on a hike, whatever. It's just nice to have these kinds of things, you know, for those just in case types of moments. And then the travel kit has a toothbrush and paste, compressed washcloth, a comb, skin lotion, antiseptic wipe, wet wipe, hand wipe, and hand sanitizer. I love it. So this one is $4 a pack. The first aid one is $2.50 and then the winter pack is $3.50. So I feel like they're a little bit on the pricey side for what they are, but then again, it's just one of those things that it's like, it's all nice and prepackaged and ready to go. And I think these are the kind of things that would be really great, especially if you had like a large group of people, you could just order 50 of these and hand them out. Or, you know, just to have on hand for those times when you're like, oh, hey, you know, I'm gonna travel. I have all of my toiletries packed, but I'm gonna throw this in my carry-on just in case, you know, whatever. I'm sure you could come up with a million reasons how these would come in handy. Anyway, I do think that these are pretty awesome to have on hand. Okay, so that is it. That is all of my new and interesting things. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me this whole time. I know it's a lot of stuff and I end up talking a lot about each of these products. So I will leave all of the information in the description box, links, any sort of discount codes that I may have, all of that information will be in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.